little jump start. We're gonna jump start our week with a little jump class. You're gonna need your soft Pilates ball. So mine's a blue ball. I'm starting on one medium spring here at the studio that's one red spring. So find your red spring. We're like kind of wearing kind of the same outfit. <laughs> same top almost. All right, so one medium spring. We're gonna warm up the core first, okay? So here we go. All right, so you're gonna take your ball, bring the ball right behind your low back like this, and then my feet are just kind of pressed against the base of the jump board on top of that spring bar, and then recline into your ball. When I recline into the ball, I'm cinching my ribs to my hips like that. So press the low back down, find that Pilates scoop. Start with your hands behind your head, elbows are wide. We're gonna inhale back and then exhale, deflate the abdominals, since your ribs, trips. take it up. We're here for a 10. Good morning, come on in. Inhale back, deflate the abdominals, cinch the ribs, hips, take it up. Good. Bring your feet a little bit lower, take them all the way down to the foot bar. There you go, or to the spring bar, you got it. Down, exhale up, let's go for about six more. Inhale back, initiate by cinching the ribs, hips curling as you come up for five. And curl right here for four, for three, two, last one right here, and one. Good, now we're gonna scoot our butts forward like this. Butt is forward, you're gonna recline down onto your ball Keep your elbows and hands down so your forearms are down. We're on one um, red spring. Feet are gonna come up to your jump board. We're in first position or Pilates V. Cinch the ribs, hips, find that Pilates scoop again. Now just practice jumping away. Squeeze the inseams of your leggings together. Tone the tops of the legs. Remember, it's not necessarily about the legs. We're really focusing on that core. Imagine you're zipping up a pair of high-waisted jeans with no stretch. We're gonna go for five more right here. For five, exhale, lift for four. You've got it. Three, two, last one right here. One, now keep the legs long, just from the ankles right here. Here we go, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it all the way in. Now, if you wanna to add to the challenge, we're gonna bring your hands behind your head. Inhale, prepare, maintain that scoop. Lift away, we're here for 10. Lifting from that pelvic floor for nine. Toning the tops of the legs for eight. Drawing that tummy in tight for seven. Six, you've got it. For five, whoo, four, three, Two, last one right here. One, legs are long, just from the ankles right here. Here we go, eight, seven, six. Maintain that scoop for five and four, three, two, one. Bring it home. Take the ball out. We're gonna bring it between your knees. Your elbows are gonna stay on like this. Now I want you to find that scoop again. Since the ribs hips press the low back down into the carriage, we're jumping away, squeeze the ball as you jump. Jump and squeeze, jump and squeeze. Good, here we go, eight more for eight and seven. Maintain that scoop, you guys. We're here for six, you've got it. Whew. For five and four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna add a tuck, are you ready? We're going to tuck and land, tuck and land. Try to lengthen, then tuck. So you have a little bit of hang time. Give me six more. For six, and five, whoo, four, three, two, last one right here, one. Go ahead and lay all the way down. Hands are gonna come behind your head. The ball is gonna stay right about where it is. Lift up into that C curve. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, jump and squeeze. We're here for a 10, jump and squeeze. You've got it, just eight more. For eight, whoo, for seven. Really feeling that core switch on now. For six, and five, four, whoo, for three, feel the burn. Two, last one right here, one. Lay all the way down with your head. 
pick up your, long, pick up your straps. We're gonna bring our feet into the long loops. Long loops with those feet. All right, the ball can come a little bit lower. All right, now bring your hands behind your head, lift up into your C curve, squeeze that ball for me. Tailbone is heavy. You're gonna inhale, lower the legs down. Exhale, deflate through your abdominals, squeeze the ball, take it up. We're here for eight. Inhale through your nose as you lower. Exhale, deflate the abs and lift for seven. Inhaling through your nose. Exhale, contract that core for six. Do not forget to breathe. Do not let those ribs open for five. Four. For three, feeling those deep, deep tummy muscles really drawing in tight. For two, hold this last one down here for me. Hold it right there. Stay up in that C curve. Give me 10 squeezes. Here we go, ladies. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it here. Reach the hands forward. We're going right into hundreds breathing. Start pumping those arms. Inhale for five. Exhale for five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Great big inhale. Great big exhale. One more like this. Now we're gonna add a tuck on the exhale. Inhale, exhale, draw the knees in, two, three, four, five, and lengthen. Keep pumping those arms and tuck. Those abdominals are drawing that ball in. You're squeezing the ball as you draw it in. Last one right here, guys. Good, bring your hands behind your head. Let the head be heavy in those hands. Continue the tucks, lengthen it long. And tuck, lift the hips at the top. Inhale, lengthen, draw the knees in, deflate those abs and tuck Whew, for eight. And seven, deep tummy muscles are drawing in tight right here, guys, for six. And five. Whew, here we go for four. So good. Three, two, last one right here, this is it. One, now hold the tuck if you're not already there, go to it, little lifts and lift. Give me eight and seven, six, five, final four, three, two, one. <sighs> Catch your breath. Go ahead and take the ball out, take your feet out of those straps. Come all the way up to seated for me. All right, so we're gonna go into a little side series. So we're gonna keep the ball with us. It's gonna come on the right side. So we're gonna face our front door. Bottom leg is tucked under. We're gonna go into that side sit up. Go ahead and push the carriage away. Press your foot into the base of the jump board. Stack the hips. Let's squeeze this glute right here. Hands are gonna come behind your head. Elbows are wide. We're gonna inhale, take it down. Exhale, cinch the rib of the as you lift right here for 10. Inhale, lower. Draw that shoulder blade down as you lift for nine. Eight. Seven. Six. And five. Four. Three. Two, last one right here. Good, now palms to the ceiling, hold it right here, little pulses, pulse it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take that elbow down, reach the outside arm up, big reach, rotate from the spine to bring it down. Find a nice little stretch right there. A little crack in your back, maybe. All right, let the carriage come all the way home. Go ahead and stack those legs. We're gonna stay on that medium spring. If it's too heavy for your arm work, go ahead and go down to the blue or a lighter spring. Now my hand is in the long loop. I don't wanna slouch. I wanna lift out of that armpit, lift from the pelvic floor. Inhale to prepare, exhale, draw it straight down right there. Here we go, for eight. Lifting from the pelvic floor as I draw that shoulder blade down for seven. Neck is long, shoulders are out of your ears. For six, you've got it, you guys. You should feel those lats really switching on here. For five. And four, Whew. for three, two, last one. Let's hold this one right here. Hold it right here. Bend at the elbow going right into that tricep press. 
The tricep is involved, but that lat is still switching on for eight. Seven. For six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one right here. One. Let's take that strap, bring it over the arch of your top foot. Good, now roll those shoulders down. Hollow out that armpit, extend the leg long. Foot is the same height as your hips, switch on the glute. We're here for 10. So use it as a nice stretch as it sweeps to the front. Switch on the glute right there. You got it for nine. Don't forget to breathe. Check in with your posture for eight. Seven. For six. Isn't the weather just glorious today? For five. And it's a little bit cold, so you can layer. Four. <laughs> Three. Two. Last one right here. We're gonna hold the reach on this one. Go ahead and hold it. Take the outside arm, the up, the out, the top arm. Reach up, get a nice stretch, and then cinch it right here for eight. Reach up, lift away from the ball, and cinch it for seven. For six. For five. You've got it, you guys. Four. Three. Two. Last one. One. All right, take that strap off. We're gonna go into some jumps. So I like to shimmy as close to the jump board as I can. So this ball, I'm not gonna have it against the shoulder, so I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. It's gonna kinda create a buffer from you and the shoulder. Come down, my elbow is gonna be on the carriage, and then my hand grabs that peg. There you go. All right, so you scoot as close to the jump board as you can. Top leg is on, go ahead and practice the jump. We're still in that medium spring. You can always go to a heavy spring, the green one, if you want. But we're gonna jump here for an entire minute. Let's add a lift. You got it, and lift. So we don't wanna go too heavy that we can't do that entire minute, but we don't want it to be too light that we don't feel the work. My knee is tracking right in line with my foot. It's facing front. You got it, we're 20 seconds down. We can do it, woo! And the lift. Check in with that posture, make sure your neck is long, shoulders are out of your ears, this armpit is hollow. Woo, 20 seconds left. We've got this, you guys. We can do it. Are we breathing? How is that left butt cheek? Is it on fire? I hope so. That's what I wanna hear. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, turning this way here, take your ball and take it to the other side and just kind of wedge it underneath. We're gonna go into a donkey kick like this. You can either have your hands on the shoulder rest or you can walk them down to the carriage. I kind of like it on the carriage. Roll the shoulders back, draw the tummy in tight. Here we go, jumping here. Now if you wanna add a little kick, you can add that kick, I'm checking the time. One minute here, we've got it you guys. Really think about rounding the kicking butt as you lift. Whew, we're trying to create perky buns. Whew. All right, good news. We're coming up on 30 seconds. So that means we only have 30 seconds left. We can do it. Developing some major heat in that butt right now. All right, can you guys hang in there for another 15 seconds? That's what we got, that's it. Try not to let the body lurch forward. I'm keeping my shoulders directly over my hands. Here we go, ladies. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Catch your breath. Two options here. We're gonna do an arabesque kick. So I'm gonna come to standing like this. My feet are at least halfway back. I'm gonna shimmy to the left side of my reformer. And then I'm gonna bring the strap over the arch of my left foot. Now, if you don't wanna be standing, you can definitely do this kneeling as well. Soften the standing knee so it's bent. Draw the shoulders down, abs are tight. Switch on the glute. We're here for 10, you guys. Here we go, for 10, 
You've got it. I want your hip directly over that foot. That's why we shimmy to the left for nine. Whoo! Eight. Seven. Six. We're almost there. Halfway for five. How is that left leg now? For four. Three. Two. This is it. It's a burner. One. Now, just carefully step to the floor. And I want you to take the strap, bring it over your ankle, turn towards your reformer. <sighs> now, rotate from your hips to turn the toes on, out. Switch on the glutes. Shift your weight over to that right foot. Draw the heels together for 10. Both legs are working here. Both legs are working evenly, just differently. We're stabilizing in the standing leg. And obviously a lot of pull in the left leg. Whew, six more. Here we go. First six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. <sighs> Take your strap off. Grab some water if you need it. Take a 15 second break. That's because I need water. <laughs> 15 second break. And then we take it from the top, from the side sit up. We're totally wearing like the same outfit. The top is like this, it's just a different brand. Isn't that funny? All right, I love white, but I just get so much fake tanner on it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Grab that ball. We didn't change our springs at all, so we're good. Ball is gonna come here. Tuck the bottom leg under, top leg is long. Push the carriage away. I like to have the ball pretty low so I have a good range of movement. Squeeze that top glute, hands come on the head. Here we go, you guys, taking it down. Exhale, lift it up right here for 10. I'm squeezing that butt as I lift for nine. Lifting from that pelvic floor for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, elbows are wide, neck is soft, two, last one right here, one, palms to the ceiling, take it out about halfway, little reaches, here we go, for 10, nine, cinch the rib to the eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take that left elbow down, reach the top arm up, get a nice big stretch. Rotate from the spine, hold it right there. <sighs> Bring it home. Stack those feet or knees, grab that long loop, reach the hand up, connect under the shoulders. Good, inhale to prepare, exhale, draw it straight down. We're here for eight. I initiate by drawing that shoulder blade down as I lift from that pelvic floor for seven, for six, for five, four, three, two, last one right here. We're gonna hold it, going into that tricep press. We bend, still drawing that shoulder blade down. Neck is long for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one right here. This is it. One. Go ahead and quickly bring your foot into that long loop. If you want it heavier, you can definitely go to the shorter loop. It's up to you. But it is a jump board class. There's a lot of booty work to come. So, <laughs> all right, your foot is the same height as your hip. Switch on the glute as you reach it towards the jump board, bringing it right back in. That armpit, it's nice and hollow. First seven. Whew. First six. Activating the glute to initiate that press. For five. Four, three, 
two, last one right here, hold the reach. Reach the top arm up, get a nice stretch, open up those ribs, take it in, cinch it right here for eight. Big reach, lift and open the ribs and then cinch everything tight for seven. For six. And five. Four. Three. Two. Last one right here. One. Good, go ahead and take that strap off. We're gonna go into our jump, so that means we have to shimmy a little closer to our jump board this way. So shimmy closer. The elbow comes onto the carriage and then I hold the peg. Bottom leg is tucked under. Hip, knee, and ankle are all on the same plane. Go ahead and start the jump. If you wanna add a little lift, add that lift. So it's ankle bone to the ceiling. One minute here, guys. Woo! Check in with that posture. Make sure you're not slouching under that bottom armpit. We're not laying too heavy on that ball. You got it. 45 seconds left. <laughs> I shouldn't count down when we have that much time left. <laughs> we got this. Woo! Developing the heat from the very beginning in this class. 30 seconds left. We can do that. We are halfway there with this set. Woo! Burning it. So close, guys. All right, we're going in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew, that one hurts so much. <laughs> All right, now we're going to turn this way here like this. Go ahead, ditch the ball. We don't want to lose it yet. We're still going to use it later. <sighs> going into our donkey kick. So find your hand placement. Remember, it can either be on top or here. Draw the shoulders down. But tummy is drawn in to support that back, starting right here. Go ahead and start. Add the little kick. One minute is on the clock. We've got this. Woo! Building perky buns. And it's only Monday. Really focus on keeping that tummy drawn in so you don't hurt the low back. Also, I'm keeping my shoulders over my hands. So I'm not lurching forward too much. 30 seconds, guys, that's it. We've got this. Whoo! Don't forget to breathe. I want that core nice and solid. No movement in that upper body. 15 seconds left, that's it. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> All right. Now, carefully, we're going to go into that arabesque. If you're going to kneel, go to kneeling. If you're going to stand, you come upright like this. You shimmy to the right side. Pick up the strap. It's the tricky part. Bring the loop over the arch of your foot. Remember, you want to be over as far as you can so that when you extend the leg down, your hip can be over that ankle. Draw the shoulders down, tummies in tight. Here we go. We're here for 10. It is heavy, I know. Whew, for nine. Keeping the shoulders over my hands. I'm not allowing myself to lurch forward. If you feel like you're lurching forward, scoot your standing foot back just a little bit. Six more. Five. Four, it's not about how high you lift. Three. Two, this is it, last one right here. One, carefully step to the floor. Bring that strap over the ankle. Turn towards your reformer this way. Whew. Activate the glutes to turn the toes out. Shift your weight over to the standing leg. Roll the shoulders back, here we go. Pulling it in for 10. Feeling the work in both legs here for nine. You've got it, you guys, for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one right here. You're going to get a nice break after this. 
one. <sighs> Catch your breath. Let's take a 30 second break. <sighs> Grab some water or a towel. With, we're gonna start with a red and a blue, so that's a medium and a light. We're gonna do a little core work, and then we're gonna do an arm sequence. So one medium, one light, that's a red and a blue. We'll start with the mad crunches, that's what I call them anyways. So your ball is right here. Let's take these short loops, bring them over the arches of your feet. Or not the arches of your feet, the backs, the tops of your thighs. Sometimes the wrong autopilot cue comes out of my mouth. <laughs> so they're going over our thighs here like this. Scoot your butt forward, grab the ball, roll on back, the ball comes between our knees. Hands, I want them to come behind your head. Now I want them actively lifting the head so that the neck is not working. Right here, you're gonna feel the core already work. Let's just squeeze for 10. Exhale, squeeze for nine. As you squeeze, I want the squeeze to happen from the core for eight, seven, whew, squeeze for six, five, no tension in that neck, for four, three, two, one. Keep squeezing, straighten the legs, deflate the abs, draw it in for 10. Deep abs are drawing it in for nine, whew, eight, seven, Deep abs, draw it in for six. Do not let the stomach push out. You want to draw it in for six, five, four. You've got it. Here we go for three, two. Last one right here. This is it. One. Help yourself up. Ditch the ball. Take the straps off. It's one of those sequen one of those sets that you can't do twice because it hurts your neck. All right, take the medium spring off. So take your red spring off, going down to the blue. All right, doing a little lat pull. My knees come all the way to the shoulder rest. Roll the shoulders back. Reach the arms up, great big inhale. And then exhale, we're gonna hinge forward. Bring your thumbs on top of the frame. Shoulders are down. Pulling yourself through, my arms stay straight. I think of pressing the heels of my hands into the frame as I pull through. Now, if you are wearing a necklace, you want that pendant to reach up towards that wall in front of us for eight. The more I press into the heels of my hands, the more I feel those lats and triceps. Seven more. Press for seven. For six. And five. Four, three, two, last one right here. All right, now I want you to take the left hand, grab the middle of the riser with the left hand. Right hand comes on the shoulders. Roll the shoulders back, especially that left one. Pull it through right here for six. It is nice and heavy. That elbow stays narrow for five. Really feeling the work in that left arm for four. Woo, three, two, last one right here, this is it. One, let the carriage come home. Now, we're gonna turn our bodies this way, like this. Shimmy as close to the shoulder rest as much as you can. We're gonna pull ourselves back out. Left hand comes on the riser, right hand comes on the headrest. Pull that left shoulder towards your jump board. You have six pulls right here. For six, it feels a little bit different. Lengthen the spine as you pull for five. If it's too heavy, go to a lighter spring here in the studio that's a yellow. For four, three, woo, it's heavy. Two, but I want that core working. One, and then we let it <laughs> slide on back. All right, from here, we're gonna grab this strap like this. So we're gonna work the left arm. Bring your hands here on the frame, and then shimmy your knees back. Good, roll the shoulders back. This ball is gonna be in my way. Roll the shoulders back like this. Draw them back, abs are tight. It's just a sweep for five. Good, if it's too heavy, you can bend and extend like that, that's four. Otherwise, keep it long. Abs are in tight for three, neck is long. Two. Last one right here, one. Now we're gonna bring our knees where our hands are. So you shimmy forward this way, come up, 
squeeze those glutes so the hips are forward. Start with the elbow glued to the waist. You're going to open and then reach. Bring the elbow back to the waist. Close the door. And again, open and reach. Bring the elbow back to the waist. Squeeze the elbow to the waist right there. You're going to feel the top of the arm working. Woo! Just two more right here, guys. We've got this. Last one. All right, let's go to the shorter loop. Now my hand comes down to the shoulder rest. I'm going to shimmy away from the shoulder rest. Squeeze the glutes, hips are forward. Look down at your hand. Here we go. We're here for eight this time. Now the rope should not hit you in the head. If you're keeping your upper arm nice and high, elbow facing the ceiling, you're not going to have a problem with the rope. Here we go. Five. Four. Three. Two, last one, one. Ditch that strap. Now we're gonna shimmy as close to the jump board as we can. So seated like this, if this is uncomfortable, you can sit on your butt with your feet out front. Otherwise, we're here, elbow is down. Draw the shoulders down, just practice the jump. Now we're gonna add a lift, jump, lift. Now catch it. So you wanna brace the impact of the landing with both the pecs and the lats. Mostly lats, though. Here we go. For five, we're doing a total of eight. Four. Three. There is no missing the work. Definitely feeling it here. Two. Last one right here. This is it. One. Whew. Okay. A little side waist work. So from here, both feet are going to come on in their tandem. So my right foot is in front. Good, walk your hands down to the actual foot bar on this reformer here. Shoulders over your hands, shift your weight to the back hand. Now as I open the carriage, I'm gonna drop the left hip to the floor. Press into the back hand, cinch the waist, take it up. Here we go for eight. Pressing into the back hand more than the front hand. So you feel that waist even more for seven. Six. You got it. For five. Whoo! Four, three, two, last one right here, one. Now you're gonna stack your feet, we're gonna do some tucks. So stack your feet, take it out to that side plank. My left foot is lifted off the carriage a little bit. My feet are stacked, they're kinda on top of each other. Tuck it under, here we go for eight. Try not to let the top foot touch. For seven, still pressing into the left hand more than the right hand. For six, you've got it. Here we go. For five, whoo, four, three, two, last one right here. One, step off backwards. Catch your breath. We're going to do it all over again. Okay, so add your medium spring, spring back on. We start with the tuck. So we're going to do a red and a blue here. So a medium and a light. <sighs> All right, grab that. The ball is nearby. Scoot your butt forward. You're going to bring the short loops over your knees. All right, grab the ball, bring it between the knees. Rolling back. Hands are going to come directly behind your head. Let the head be heavy in your hands. Elbows are wide. Just give me 10 squeezes right here. Here we go. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Do you feel the core tighten as you squeeze for a 2? One, hold the squeeze. Lengthen it long. Deflate the abs, guys. Bring it in. Here we go. For 10. Whew. For nine, do not let that low back lift off. For eight, squeeze as you tuck. Seven, six, five, woo, four, three, last two. Whew. Last one. You got it. Come up from there. Whew. Ditch the ball. Take those straps off. We're going to take that medium spring off. So let's take our red spring off. Ah. <sighs> 
So we just have one light spring on. That's our blue spring is now remaining. <sighs> I'm starting to finally not feel jet lagged. Like, I'm starting to finally feel like with it again, not, not jet lagged. You just kind of felt like you're coming down with something. Roll the shoulders back, reach it up, and then bring the hands forward. Connect under the shoulders, inhale, prepare, pull yourself through. We're here for 10. If it's not heavy enough, you reach a little farther forward and actively press even more into the heels of your hands as you pull through. We have eight left for eight. So I read about jet lag and it's mostly when your body's producing its melatonin. That's why you get jet lag because it's trained to produce it, to release that melatonin at bedtime. So we upped our melatonin gang game and that actually helped a lot. Yeah, like an hour before we go to bed. And do not nap during the day, it screws everything up. <laughs> Four more guys. Yep, exactly. Hold it here, take your right hand, grab the riser, left hand comes onto the shoulders. Pull that right shoulder back so the shoulders are even. We're just here for six, here we go, for six. Keep that shoulder out of your ear. Abs are tight for five, four, three, two, last one right here, one. Come on back. <sighs> we turn to the side. This ball might be in our way, so go ahead and move it. All right, so we have to pull ourselves out again. So that side pull, it's a little heavier. So my right hand comes to the riser, my left hand comes to the shoulder rest. Now, try and pull that right shoulder towards the jump board. Here we go, we're here for six. Five, it is heavy, if it's too heavy, go to the yellow spring for four. Three, two, last one right here, this is it. One, woo, shimmy on home. <sighs> okay, so from here, you scoot yourself back like this. Roll the shoulders back. So my shoulders are directly over my hands, hips over my knees, hand closest to the jump board, our right hand grabs the long loop. Roll the shoulders back and go ahead and add that long arm sweep. Remember, if it's too heavy, you can bend the elbow too. Here we go, for five. Stay connected in that shoulder. For four, stay within a range of movement that feels comfortable to you. For three, two, last one right here, one. Now, we're gonna bring our knees where our hands are, so you just simply shimmy forward come upright. My left knee is touching the shoulder rest. Look down, make sure your knees are separated. Make sure they're even. Squeeze the glutes so the hips are forward. All right, that right hand is still holding that strap. Glue the elbow to your waist as you practice opening the door. Now, if you wanna add to it, you don't have to add this part. I like to add the reach, bring the elbow back to the waist, close the door. Squeeze the waist as you open, then reach the fist out. Draw the elbow back in. Three more like that, guys. Woo, two more. Last one. All right, now go to the shorter loop. We're gonna scoot away from our shoulder rest here. So scoot out. Hips are forward, look down at the hand, elbow to the ceiling, squeeze that booty. We're here for eight. Remember the rope should not be hitting your head. You gotta keep that upper arm as high as possible. Elbow facing the ceiling. Whew, for four, three, two, last one, one. Ditch that strap. Whew, shimmy closer to your jump board. Roll the shoulders back. Remember, if this feels too heavy, you just go to the lighter spring. Elbow is down, lift from the pelvic floor, practice the jump. All right, we're here for eight, we add a lift. Woo! For seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
catch your breath. Same springs, we're still on that one light spring. We're gonna come up, we're gonna finish with those pikes, that side pike. So we're gonna work the waistline now. So our feet are tandem, my left foot is in front. Walk your hands down to the foot bar for this reformer here. Shoulders are over your hands, shift your weight back over the right hand. Open the carriage, drop the hip to the floor. Press into the back hand, lift it up. The nice thing about having the jump board here, your shoulders are gonna stay over your hands. <laughs> Whew. Six more. Really feeling that waist, really think about cinching that rib to your hip. Isolate that bottom waistline. Four more guys, take your time. Three. Two, last one, one. Stack the feet, take it out, pause. Left foot is not on the carriage. Good, now tuck it under, here we go, tuck. For eight, my weight is in the back hand still. For seven, I'm still cinching that rib to my hip. For six, we get a nice minute break after this. For five, four, three, Two, last one right here. One. Ah, catch your breath. Grab some water or a towel. Take a little break. All right, guys, we're gonna do, we're gonna do two red springs, okay? So two red springs, that's two medium springs. It's a little bit of a power series. A little bit, it is a power series. I like to soften the blow a bit, <laughs> sugarcoat it. All right, we're gonna come to the left side of your reformer because we're gonna work our right butt first. And you're done with your ball. So I would move your ball just so you don't, I always feel like someone's gonna trip, step back and trip on it. Once you have kids and toys, you're always like, ah. All right, so you're gonna take the inside foot, bring it up. So it's us, it's our right foot. You wanna be arms distance from your jump board. So draw the shoulders down, press, actively press the heels of your hands into it. We're gonna power it out resist as it comes back in. We're here for 30 seconds. Power, resist. Power, resist. Round that glute as you press. Think round booty, you've got it. Perky buns here. Woo! So good, guys. 15 seconds left. Power, resist. Power, resist. So good, power. Woo! All right, final. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Take the leg off, so you're here. My hand is still on, my right hand is still on the jump board. I'm gonna sweep it up and around, and I tap. Come out of the knee bend, little curtsy. Up, tap, eight more for eight. Seven, you've got it. Abdominals are drawn in. For six, five, whoo, four, Three, two, last one, one. Whoo, turn towards your reformer. Same leg is gonna work. Wedge it up against the shoulder as squat down. One hand is on the jump board, roll the shoulders back. 30 seconds here, power out, resist. Power, resist, power, whoo. Both legs are working here. You've got it. Don't forget to breathe. If you're struggling, you hop towards your jump board. It gets a little lighter. If you want it heavier, hop this way. Whoo, 15 seconds, guys. We can do it. Power, resist, power. Here we go, final 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoo, extend the foot out. Come down to that forearm. Flex the foot, ankle bone to the ceiling. Are you ready? A little lift. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Can you feel the other leg working too? <laughs> 3, 2, woo, 1. Whew. <sighs> Keep the same spring tension on. Go ahead and bring your headrest up. We're going to lay down. Power jumps here. <sighs> lay all the way down. We only have about 10 minutes left, this is it. Hands are down by your side. Feet are together, knees are together. Abdominals are drawn in. We're just jumping right here. Tone the tops of the legs, we're here for 10. Nine, abdominals are tight. Eight, seven, six, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go right to Pilates V. Heels are, heels are touching, toes are turned out. Squeeze, 10. Squeeze, nine. Inseams of your leggings should come together. Squeeze those thighs for six, five. You've got this, you guys. Four. Give me everything you've got right here. Two, one. Okay, frogs, get through it. Here we go for 10. Abdominals are tight for nine. Whew. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Alternate feet, 30 seconds here. Now this is a little bit of a rest little recovery right here. Don't forget to breathe. We're not powering through this one. 15 seconds left. We're breathing. Woo! All right, I want you to end on the right leg. Right leg is on the jump board. Give me eight single leg jumps right here for eight, seven. One more burn for this leg for six and five. Four, three, two, one. Bring your legs into your chest. Catch your breath. <sighs> All right, guys, we're going to roll off to the right side. We're going to repeat everything on the other side. <sighs> so, same springs. We still have those two medium springs on. Catch your breath. I'm a little winded. All right, so left foot is against the shoulder. So we're going to work that left leg now. Hands are gonna come onto your foot bar. Press the heels of your hands in. Abdominals are tight. Fire it out, resist. Fire, resist. You got it. 30 seconds right here. Don't forget to breathe. So good. Switch on that glute, take the work out of the knee. All right, here we go. Final 10, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoo, going into our curtsy kick. So left hand is on the jump board, curtsy down. We sweep it up and around, then we bend as we tap for 10. Curtsy down, both legs are working, really rounding the booty as we kick it up. Whoo, seven, six, Five, abdominals are tight. Do not let the shoulders round forward. Four, three, two, one. Whoo! Turn towards your reformer. Catch your breath. What did I say about jet legs not bothering me anymore? I think it's just my jump board class. Okay. Right hand. So soften that leg. Ready? 30 seconds, starting now. Let's get there. Woo! Abs are tight. Tail is sticking out. You're gonna activate the glutes more if you let that tail stick out. Woo! You got it. How we doing? That's it. That was a little wimpy, but I'll take it. It's Monday. It's Monday. That was kind of half-hearted woo. <laughs> All right, guys. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come to the forearm right here. Ah, my standing leg is shaking. Flex your foot. Let's go. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, and seven. For six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, I'd rather do power jumps than kicks like that. Okay. Whew, power jumps, then we end with feet and straps. We're like almost done. Okay, here we go. Let's get there. Lay all the way down, guys. Ah. Ah. All right, ankles are together, knees are together, ribs are connected. Jumping here, guys. Here we go for 10, nine. Draw that tummy in tight for eight. Don't let it push out. Seven, you can even bring your hands on your stomach to feel if it's pushing out. Five, four, Three, two, 
One Pilates V. Squeeze those thighs, squeeze those glutes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Give me a frog. Here we go. Final frog. We are almost there, you guys. This is it. This is kind of the final burst. Give me everything you have. Woo! All right, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. 30 seconds alternating feet. <sighs> Let the heart rate come down just a little bit. <sighs> All right. We're going to end with your left foot on the jump board. Eight single leg jumps. Here we go. Eight. Really tone the top of that leg as you jump for seven. Six. I know, it's tough. For five. Four. Three. Two, one, whoo, so good you guys. Lower that headrest if it's up. Now you're gonna bring your feet into your short loops. Short loops right here. All right, extend the legs up. We're gonna go into dolphin tail. So the legs are straight, start with the butt down. Legs are long. We're gonna inhale, lower the legs down. Now, draw the knees into your chest. The ropes come to the outsides. And then you lengthen the legs. Get a nice stretch. Inhale through your nose as you lower it down. Exhale, draw those knees in. When the legs lower, I try really hard to resist the temptation to let my low back lift off too much. That way the core can stay engaged. If I let that low back lift, the core loses a little bit of its engagement. <sighs> One more here. Then we're gonna finish with circles. So, legs parallel, lower down with the legs together. Open from your hips, turn out your toes, and circle. And again, inhale, lower it down. Rotate from the hips, turn out the toes, and circle. It should feel good. Two more this direction. Moving at your own pace. And then we're gonna reverse for six and then finish with a nice short spine. Whew. I actually like starting my day with a little jump board, my week. Two more guys. All right, last one. Come into frog. If your headrest is up, make sure it's down. I think I told you guys all to lower it. All right, short spine here. So legs are bent in frog. Straighten the legs. Keep the legs together as you fold at the hips. Press into the mat, scoop the abdominals to lift the hips up. Let the carriage come all the way home. Now bend your knees, bring your knees right over your shoulders. Maintain the lift as you slowly roll down. So I don't want you to collapse. The thighs never touch your boobs or your chest. And then we reset. We're gonna inhale, lengthen right here. Squeeze those thighs. Fold at your hips. I want you to scoop the abs, press in the mat, peel the hips off, lift it up, up, up. Let the carriage close. Bend at your knees. Keep those heels squeezing together as you slowly roll down one bone at a time, keeping the thighs away from the upper body. Reset, here we go. Inhale, lengthen, fold at your hips, scoop the abdominals. Each time you lift, try and press into your arms less and recruit the core more. You've got it. Bend at the knees, bring the knees right over your shoulders. Exhale, rolling down. <sighs> bring the soles of your feet together right here. Grab the straps, pull towards you as you push your elbows into your knees. Just hold this stretch. You can even sway from side to side if your legs feel a little tight. And then we're gonna open the legs out to the sides, out to a giant V. Hold it, I even pull with the straps a little bit to give it a little bit more of a stretch. Now, legs are gonna stay long, bring your ankles back together. 
and pull towards you just for a second. And then you guys are all done. Thanks for joining me on this beautiful Monday, beautiful fall October morning. <sighs> Enjoy it. Enjoy your bodies. <sighs> all right. Oh,